Hey guys, this is the Jackal with the video review of Transformers Generations IDW Thrilling 30 um, Deluxe Class Bumblebee. I uh, finally got this guy today. Um, this now completes um, the first couple waves of the Generations line besides the new Deluxes that are coming out like Waspinator, uh, Artfire, basically Gold Bug or whatever, um, and all that. But um, yeah, so this time we're going to take a look at Bumblebee. So here he is in his packaging. There he is in robot mode with his two guns that can combine. Uh, there's his comic, which we'll look at. Um, yeah, come to the side. There's a half of a giant Autobot logo. He is Series 204. So, come to the bottom. Also available, Orion Pax and Trail Cutter, which we've taken a look at them a while back. So, uh, there's them. Come to the back, there it says bio. So you can pause it and read it. Uh, Thrilling 30, Bumblebee, um, Transformers Generations, out of Allego. There he is in his robot mode. His Stinger Blasters can combine. Uh, sports car mode. And there's his text packs. So, um, yeah, it looks like a good figure. Um, still have to mess with him about. So. And for this review, we'll be comparing them to, um, fittingly, Dark of the Moon and the R.E.D. Bumblebee. So, without further ado, let's get this guy open um, and in his vehicle mode and see how cool he actually is. Okay, here we have the new Generations IDW with Thrilling 30 Bumblebee open up out of his packaging and in his uh, vehicle mode, which is actually a really nice sports car. I do like it. Um, and he, here's his comic. Um, I didn't really read it, I just skipped through it, but, uh, he's just sitting there with some of the Protectobots, it looks like, then he goes to meet Thundercracker, um, which apparently Thundercracker is not part of the Decepticons anymore, a little spoiler alert, but anyways, he just goes on, then he meets, like, a lot of Decepticons, and they notice him, and they're like, oh, go get him, and yeah, so, but, yeah, like I said, I didn't really read it, so. So, there is the comic. And here is Bumblebee in his vehicle mode. He's a nice, eh, classic looking sports car. So, and he does come with his Stinger guns. I think that's what they were called. So, they're basically the exact same thing, so. And there's tab and tab hole, tab and tab hole, and you just do this, and you have one big gun, basically like Fall of Cybertron Starscream, where you have the two guns that can merge together, and you get one bigger gun, so it just goes like that. And if you want to store it, there's that. But I usually like to have them separated and one on each side, so. But it is a nice gun and it is fairly detailed with the transverse blue pieces that look like Energon. So, it is nice. So. So there is Bumblebee. For a quick comparison, here he is with the RAD and the Dark of the Moon. And I kind of noticed about the doors that the doors are basically old. Maybe the doors and maybe the windshield on the Dark of the Moon are almost the exact same. Because if you just study the doors for a second, they basically have the exact shape. It's kind of weird, but yeah, I mean, you got it coming down a little bit, then you have the point, and you have it going back in, except at the bottom. It's just kind of weird, and you even have the exact same creases, just, yeah. Um, no, yeah, it's just nearly, like, some pieces are just nearly, um, identical. So even a little bit of this piece, it's just that this one has a little added on, and it doesn't have a hole on top, so. But there, yeah, he is lighter. So, uh, I think a little lighter than, uh, yeah, like a, like, shade, yellow, Lighter. I'm not the. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up a lot well, but it is a little bit lighter. So, but there is that. So, 
Otherwise, yeah, not much else. Um, use yellow with black stripes, like we've seen in the movie in um, Transformers Prime. Um, translucent uh, windows, which they should have done the blue, so you don't have all this robot stuff. Just yeah, but um, yeah. Painted rear lights, painted headlights. Got a nice painted grill. I might paint the lights down here. Um, exhaust, painted rims. Yes, you gotta love painted rims. So, otherwise, not much else. There's his underside. It's a nice Autobot logo right there. So, but yeah, there is the IDW Bumblebee in vehicle. Okay, to transform IDW Bumblebee, what you want to do? I'm gonna get a little help from the instructions too. Um, basically, you want to pop off the doors without trying to break them. Um, there's two little, oh, and I guess the wheels pop off easily, so be careful with that. Um, not sure why they're not coming out. Um, it's having some technical difficulties. Come on, B. Um, I have no idea what's going on. It should be doing this. And, it, and the instructions say they should pop out easily. Um, uh, something is not right. Okay, there we go. Looks like you have to kind of pull on it. Maybe that's why I was having troubles. So there's a little tab right here. Yeah, just be careful. So just bring out the doors a little bit. Bring out the side of the car like this. Then you want to take this hood piece, bring it up, and then bring this piece like that. Bring that up. Separate the legs. Bring these down so that. Uh, Back of the car is now his knee pads. Then you want to bring down the foot. And just bring it down like that. So, like so. Then bring the back parts all the way down like that so our flush against his black bring up the car parts like so then for the final transformation just bring it down like this revealing his head and there is Transformers Thrilling 30 IDW Bumblebee and a little added transformation you can bring these down and bring them out like that so they won't stick too far out so you can bring the arms down and apparently I think they just kinda of tab in or something but yeah like that so there is Bumblebee but he does with this um Backpack. I think I might have had it wrong on this. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. So you have to suffer with a weird thing coming so wrong. <laughs> yeah. So, but he is nice. I actually do like him. You know, he actually looks kind of cool. Um. So. Yeah. Let's get a quick headshot. So yeah, there it is. I got that nice Autobot logo too. So. But yeah, he was cool. Um, and of course, for comparison in robot mode, here he is with the R.I.D. Bumblebee and the other figure, the Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. So, um, looks like uh, the Generations Bumblebee is shorter than the other two. He is still actually kind of worth worth it, so. But um, yeah, he actually does look kind of cool. So, 
and of course for weapons um, you can have them hold both of them in each hand for yeah, double damage or bring this up like this and you can combine them again Like that, which I might do, and it kind of brings his arm, like sags his arm down a little bit. But I think with the little um, effort, I can make it stay. Yep, like that. So there is. Oh yeah, now his arm sag. Maybe that's the only problem that his arms are kind of loose, and he doesn't even want to hold his weapon. Um, I might do something about that apparently. So but there is. Bumblebee and his robot. And finally, before we end this review, the articulation. You got 360 head. Uh, you can rotate all these all the way around. You can angle. Yeah. Um, you can articulate the doors if you want. Um, you can rotate this. Got elbow. No hand. Um... No waist, but it does make up with the rotational thighs. I uh, got ball jointed uh, hips, knee, uh, and you got I think ball jointed foot. Yeah, ball jointed foot right there. But um, yeah, so there is the articulation for Bumblebee. So this has been the review of Transformers Generations IDW Throwing 30 Deluxe Class Bumblebee. He's actually a pretty cool figure. I do recommend him. Um, yeah. So please comment, rate, subscribe. Stay tuned for more reviews, hauls, vlogs, unboxings, all that good stuff. Go follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, yeah. You can get this and many other big and bad toy needs at bigbadtoyster.com. I'll leave the link in all of, all of that in the description down below. So yeah. And again, please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, yeah, so that just about does it for the Jekyll. So n until next time, see you guys later.